Hello, I am Florian Wagner from the Sales Promotion and Training Team. Today, we will be converting an Aerosem 3002 PCS machine with duplex seed for precision drilling single May seeds. First of all, we have to divide the seed hopper in order to be able to supply the separation elements with seed. To do this, all you need to do is relocate the partitions inside the hopper by undoing the wing nuts. The two outer chambers supply the separation elements. The middle chamber can be used for fertilizer or a companion crop. The PCS separation elements are located underneath the seed hopper. These are hydraulically driven by a dedicated spool valve. In order to guarantee smooth separation, you need to adjust the PCS scrapers to the grain size of the seed. As a reference, the grain size and shape can be checked against the sticker on the machine or the seed size table in the instruction manual. A total of up to five different scraper positions are available. This setting must be carried out on all separating elements. A helpful tip while we're here, all PCS elements are fitted with emptying openings for emptying out leftover seed. The machine can be lifted to make the conversion work easier and more convenient. In order to ensure safe handling, the equipment must be secured by suitable means. In order to achieve precision placement of the individual seeds, the dual disc coulter system must be modified in each row. This involves installing a seed slot former, followed by a firming roller and a coulter press pin. The seed slot former features a locking device that connects to the coulter. This is secured using the existing locking pins and a bolt. Care must be taken to ensure that the seed outlet tube and the mounting surface are clean. In addition to the press wheel, which is used to limit the depth, a firming roller is fitted to press the seed down securely. To do this, first loosen the bolts on the press wheel. The press wheel is height adjustable using three holes, shallow seed slot, 0 to 4.5 cm, standard seed slot, 0.5 to 5 cm, and a deep seed slot of 1.5 to 6 cm. These adjustments enable, for example, deeper placement of the fertilizer next to the maize seed slot. The same triple hole matrix is used on the firming roller. This lets you choose three different positions depending on the size of the maize seed. The middle position covers the majority of all sizes. A spacer gauge is included to help you set the correct distance between the firming roller and the seed slot former. The distance depends on the hole position selected for the firming roller. To make it easier to adjust the firming roller, we recommend that the bolts are already slightly tightened. To ensure that each coulter cuts into the soil reliably, the coulter pressure needs to be increased from 50 kilos to 80 kilos by relocating the lock pin. To make it easier to move the lock pin, first reduce the coulter pressure to a minimum. The hole for increasing the coulter pressure is located below the coulter connection at the coulter rail. The additional coulter pressure spring is fixed using the lock pin. Because the coulter pressure was reduced in advance, it should be easy to install the lock pin. The pressure must then be increased again afterwards. The separation sensors in front of the seed coulter monitor the seed transport and simultaneously measure the seed distribution in the seed slot. We recommend regular cleaning of the sensor tubes using the tube cleaning brush supplied. After cleaning, we install the tubes as they were before. This means that the coulter pipe must be slotted on right up to the limit stop and the fitting tightened. In addition to the modifications on the seed coulters, the separation system also needs to be adjusted in terms of airflow. The air distribution flap is located underneath the seed hopper. This divides the airflow to the metering wheel and the separating elements. The settings are made as follows. For purely precision seeding, 100%. For precision seeding plus companion crop, 
75%. For precision seeding plus fertilizer application, between 100 and 200 kilos, 50%. For precision seeding plus fertilizer application over 200 kilos, 25%. For purely conventional drilling, 0%. When changing over to precision seeding, an additional setting for the air distribution flap needs to be made. This is adjusted below the distributor head in the seed tube to allow excess air to escape. This flap should be closed for conventional drilling and open for precision seeding. Different distributor head inserts are available for adding fertilizer to the left and right of the maize seed slots or sowing a companion crop between the maize rows. With these, all the distributor outlets that are not required are closed, which means that the seed is transported directly into the relevant seed slot. They are easy to change using wing nuts. To drive an Aerosem seed drill equipped with PCS, an additional control unit for driving of the separation elements is required in addition to the fan. The fan speed is set to 4000 RPM using the tractor control terminal or manually adjusting a knurled screw. When adjusting the fan speed, the knurled screw on the fan can be turned all the way in if the spool valve is equipped to control the hydraulic oil flow rate to avoid the oil circuit heating up unnecessarily. The flow rate to drive the PCS elements should be 2-4% to higher than the fan spool valve to ensure a continuous supply. For successful precision seeding, the PCS elements must be activated at the control terminal. To do this, go to the Set menu and then to the Seed Library and activate PCS separation. The application rate is entered by specifying the number of seeds per hectare or the speed spacing in the seed slot. There is no need for an additional calibration test. In the seed library, you can also activate D1 metering for adding fertilizer or a companion crop. A calibration test of the additional components must be carried out in the same way as for drilling seed. In the work menu, the separation function is displayed during drilling when you press the PCS button. The separation sensors detect each seed and calculate the current seed spacing. Pressing the PCS button again displays a table showing the proportion of missing seeds and double seeds. If the seed spacing is exceeded or not reached, the bar graphs in the relevant separation rows are displayed in red. When filling the side single seed hopper, we recommend using the graphite powder supplied. One cap per seed bag should be added to optimise the flow of the seed and to protect the separation elements. More success with Pertinger.